Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to cover everything you need to know about Filmora 9 video editing software, an affordable and simple to use video editor for making videos here on YouTube. Once you went through this tutorial, you'll be able to create your own amazing videos faster. These are time saving tips that I learned during the past two years using Filmora. First thing first, Filmora is not a completed free video editor, though you can download and access to all the features of the program. There's a huge watermark at the center of the video in free version. If you want to remove it, you'll need to pay approximately $60 for a license. You can use the coupon code I put in the description to save you $12 if you want. Alright, let's getting started now, after the intro. Welcome to my uh, channel. Supposing that you've just finished the installation and don't know where to start. Let's open up Filmora Video Editor. At this start page, you can select an aspect ratio for your project. Open previous project, or just hit these thumbnails to getting started. For this example, I will select Create New Project to show you how to work with Filmora. Now I am at the main workspace of Filmora. Before importing media files to start editing, I would recommend you to change the preferences settings to get the best performance when using Filmora. To do that, go to File. Select Preferences, look at the Performance tab. Here you'll need to enable hardware acceleration for video rendering and playback. Check the automatically create proxies option too. Now you'll need to close this window and restart Filmora to apply these settings. Here you are at the main workspace again. Filmora offers a classic video editing workspace which is very easy to navigate if you're new to it. On top left of the window is the menu toolbar where you can access to all the features of the program. Go further down is 6 main tab of Filmora. The media tab is where you can import your footage. Audio tab has free music tracks and sound effect. The title tab contains text title presets, low thirds, end credit etc. The transition, effect, and elements are the things you can add to your videos once you've finished the assembling work. Split screen tab has built in templates that you can use to create split screen videos. That's for the menu toolbar. And on the right side of the window is the preview window where you can play back your project when editing. At the low end corner of this window, you can control the playback via these function buttons, as well as adjust the playback quality. Render the timeline, or go full screen when previewing. The editing timeline is located at the bottom as usual. With Filmora 9, you are able to add up to 100 video and audio track to the timeline. To add a new track, you can just right click at this area, select add track, or you can go to the track manager to add more. These positions are not removable in Filmora. However, you are able to resize these window by dragging the edge of these windows and move it around to get the most convenient workspace you need. Ok, we're back to the workspace now. First thing you may want to know is the media library where you can import your videos, audio files, or images for further editing. These folders are divided into four main categories i.e. the project media is where you can import your footage, create your own folders. This shared media category can be used for other project, it's a new updated feature of Filmora 9. Being noticed that you cannot delete, or rename these default folders. Let's import some footage to the this library. There are two ways to import your media for further editing. You can click this import button, select the files you want to import, and click open. The other way is to drag and drop your file directly to this area, or to the timeline. Both ways have the same result. You can select view type, sort the media like what you can do on your computer here. Let's go ahead to add a video into the timeline to show you some basic video editing tools you can use in Filmora 9. To add a clip to the timeline, you can drag it into the timeline, or hit this plus button at the center of the thumbnail, let's take this footage as an example. 
To view everything on your timeline, click this button. To split the video, put the playhead at the position you want to split, and use this icon. You can also use Ctrl plus B shortcut if you're using Windows to split the video. To trim a clip, move your mouse cursor to the end of the clip, drag it to the left or right like this to trim. Secondly, if you want to crop the video, click this crop and zoom icon to open up a window where you can control crop area, zoom direction and so on. The shortcut key is Alt plus C. This screen frame is used for cropping video, you can resize it and move it around the original screen to crop. For example, I want to crop the video to this part, let's see how it looks. Well done! This zoom and pan tab is useful when you want to zoom to a specific part of the video. I made a very detailed tutorial about this feature of Filmora already, check out the links at the corner of the video to learn more. To change video speed, click on the video you want to change speed, select speed icon here. Select an option to slow down or speed up your video. You can also select custom speed to change the speed manually. Let's see the slow motion video when I changed video speed to 40%. That's pretty smooth slow motion video. You can change the speed to normal by click on top of the video. Select normal from the drop down menu. Let's preview both slow motion and normal speed video. To speed up the video, you can do the same steps. To remove green screen background in Filmora 9, bring the clip to the timeline, you can choose any of the given options to key out the green background of your video. Option 1, right mouse click, and select green screen. The program will remove green screen background automatically, and the chroma key option is activated in the video effect control tab. Option 2, use green screen button on top of the timeline. And finally, double click on the video. Activate the Chroma Key feature in the Video tab. All these options produce the same result. To remove completely the green background from your video, check out the given options to control the quality of your video. Let's go further to Filmora 9 Audio Mixer. With Filmora 9, you can add up to 100 audio track the timeline, which is very useful for those of you who want to design sound effect for your video. Both the video and audio track are manageable via the track manager on the top left corner of the timeline. You can adjust the height of the track to see the audio waveform better here too. For example, this is the background music track, and below are the sound effect I added to my video. To control the audio of separated track, click this icon. Here you can control the audio level, change the pitch, add audio fade in, and fade out to the track. To control all the audio tracks on the timeline, click this audio mixer icon. Now you can adjust audio level of separated track, or master volume of your video. In Filmora 9, there are over 200 different transitions you can add to your video. All you need to do is find a transition you like, drag it to the clip and you're done. It's much more easier than other pro-level video editing suite out there. For example, this is a fade in and out transition. Let's see how it looks. To control the transition, double click on it. 
Here are a couple of things you can customize the transition to get the effect you want. Being noticed that the transition you added to the timeline can be deleted, or replace easily with the same actions. Again, there are over 200 different special effects you can overlay to your video right inside the program. Filmware 9 divides video effect into different categories such as filters, overlays, and utilities. You can use these drop down arrow to hide, or show these subcategories easily. These effect can be applied to a certain part of the video by dragging it on top of the clip. This little box tell you where the effect is applied. You can shorten, or extend the effect to the whole timeline if you want. With filters, you can double click on the effect box to control the amount of the effect. To remove a filter, simple hit delete on your keyboard. You can do the same with overlays. For example, if you want to add a cinematic black bar to the video, select 21 by 9 frame in the overlays categories, drag it on top of the video track. To control the height and opacity of the black bar, simple double click and adjust the slider. At the title tab, you can see different types of preset title, low third templates, and credits and so on. All these templates are ready to use when you finish the installation of the program. You can easily drag these templates on top of the video to create a title for your video very fast with Filmora 9. If you're not happy with the preset, you can customize the preset to create your own style, and save it as a preset for later use. Being noticed that the preset title in Filmore often contains animation. In order to control, or remove the animation, you'll need to go ahead to Advanced tab and customize it. Filmore 9 offers basic color grading tools where you can adjust the white balance, exposure, brightness, black and white, as well as the ability to apply new LUTs to your video. These are very basic features when it comes to color grading. However, if you don't have special requirements about video color, these tools can be enough. Finally, once you've finished your editing work, Filmora 9 lets you export your project into different formats and devices. For uploading video to YouTube, or Facebook, you can select Local, MP4 and select the frame rate you want to export and click OK to start rendering. That's the end of my free training video. I hope you got all the necessary information about Filmora 9 here. If you have any question about the program, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now. So welcome to my uh, channel. <laughs>